Good afternoon, lovely people with Revolution Prep. My name is Chris Jeffries. I'm going to attempt to uh, explain expected values here. Um, this will be a little bit weird since there's nobody on the other end getting the information back, so uh, please bear with me. So today we are going to go over expected values. Now what expected value is, is the expected return based on a certain action. It is a very fancy way just to say the average based on a ton of occurrences, a ton of events happening. So to demonstrate that, what we are going to use are a couple of games of chance. Um, everybody knows about dice. And, uh, and so how it really works is they're using the expected value of the dice to set up all the probabilities. Well, let's look at just one die. We know that the probability of each one happening, one, two, three, four, five, and six, is one sixth. All right, so one six and one six and one six, one six and one six and one six. There we go. So the way we find the expected value is we multiply this probability times the occurrence. So, in this case, we are going to have one six, two six, three six, four six, five six, and one. Now, what we do to find the expected value is we add all of these together. So, this sum is going to be. 3.5 for one die. So what that's saying is if we roll one die an infinitesimal number of times, the average outcome is going to be 3.5. Now, that's an easy one to think about. Well, let's use another game of chance. I'll give you an example right here. Let's say I want to put a bunch of money into a bit. A bunch of different notes. All right, ones, fives, tens, twenties, all of these. And I want to charge 10 bucks. I want to know, based on what I put into this basket, that I'm going to make a profit. So, right here, just place all this with this. Let's say in my basket, I'm going to put 20 $21 bills. Ten five dollar bills, oh, excuse me, fifteen five dollar bills, ten ten dollar bills, five twenty dollar bills. Two fifty dollar bills, and lastly, one single one hundred dollar bill. Now, we're going to do like we did with the die. We are going to take each occurrence and multiply it by the probability of it happening, and then we are going to take the sum to figure out what the expected value is. So. Right here we have 20 over 53, 15 over 53, 10 over 53, 5 over 53, 2 over 53, and 1 over 53. So what these expected values, or excuse me, what these values are going to be are 0.377 once we multiply them. Once multiply five times fifteen over fifty-three, we're gonna get one point four one five. For ten here, we're gonna get one point eight eight seven. When we multiply twenty times five over fifty-three, we will get one point eight eight seven. Right here with fifty times two over fifty-three, we get another one point eight eight 
and 7. And 100 times 1 over 53 gives us 1.887. Now, to add, we add all these up to get our expected value, which would be $9.33. So if we charge $10, we're making a profit and we're doing pretty good. What do you think? Thank you for your time. Um, appreciate your consideration.